What up, people? I literally, like, just come out to the movie theater. I went and seen Captain Marvel finally. I wanted to give my review on it. To say it was okay. It was not the best movie. It was not the worst. But as far as entertainment value, it was okay. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the special effects in it. When she was flying, I thought that was really awesome. Now, the whole movie as a whole controversies surrounding Brie Larson before the movie started, I think, dampened it some, but it's still ranked, I think I heard today, it was still ranked sixth gross of what it done in the opening weekend as far as, like, the whole total universe, the Marvel Universe, I think it ranked sixth. So it's still, people still went out to see it, mainly because it's that filler movie between the end game. And the Infinity War, so you had to see it. Just to make sure that all the ducks were in a row and we knew where Captain Marvel was coming from. I'm not going to lie and sit here and tell you that I am a bunch of, that I know everything there is to know about comic books. On a few characters, I'm more knowledgeable than others. And none of them are it. I do know as far as the movie goes overall, I didn't care if it was a guy or a girl. As far as Captain Marvel goes... But that's neither here nor there. I know some people will say, well, it does matter. Well, to me, it didn't matter because I didn't really follow them that closely. I think they come along after I had got out of comic books like I used to be when I was younger. So, but to me, the make what made the movie more than anything was the cat. Can we please have some more flirting? And can we? I, I love Goose. I'm a Goose fan. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I think if they don't bring Goose back for Endgame, I just ain't going to. I, I, just, I just don't know if I'll, I'll be able to sit still in the movie theater and not throw a fit. I mean, it was just, the Goose was awesome. Flurkin, that flurkin was flurkin everywhere. And uh, it was cool. I uh, thought the whole, uh, I enjoyed the soundtrack also. That was, I really, I like that type of upbeat bump the only thing that i thought was crazy is looking at through the eyes of the way a lot of guys look through it uh with the way danvers was before the movie i'm sorry not danvers <laughs> it would be brie larson carol she played danvers in the movie but the way that she was before I could see the angle that they were going for in the movie. Which part was talking about standing up. and She was a woman, so she got to stand up. Well, we as people have to stand up when we think something's wrong. So I think that message could, should be subscribed to everybody, and not just a man or not just a woman, but everybody. What I did notice and what I thought was crazy, there were, I counted. I think there was Stan Lee. I think there was two guys on the subway, Colson, the boss man. I bet you I couldn't count uh, 10 white men total in the whole movie. But let me tell you, I have no problem with that. I'm just saying, you know they did that for the angle, for the whole woman empowerment. Let me stand up. And I have no problem with that. If that's why you want to make your movie, it's your money. I'm just saying it doesn't go unnoticed with all the controversy that came along before the movie started. So, there was that. Can't wait to see the... the I can't wait to see the... The... Uh, end game. I think it's going great. Going great. I'm really ready to see what is going to happen. I think somebody said that um, even the ancient one is supposed to make a um, uh, appearance in in game also. So it's going to be very interesting. Can't wait for that. So that's my take on the movie. May not be your take. Again, what I what I feel and what I think about the movie is mine. I think we should have twice as much flirking. 
or give flirting or give goose his own flirting movie because I by golly I like the flirting. So y'all have a great day and you'll be safe.